hii shalom shalom all praise in hana ni nguri etu ya hawa bahashim ya hawashai bahashim na kaha kadash in the bahana to zelda in the apostles of the mission on hudul well a peace blessing and salutation to you are kiamu pushing this truth to the four winds of the heavenly and be on the forefront of this spiritual war and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on earth again as in the days of old so amen <coughs> it is another lesson coming to you through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahashai concerning the algorithm of old Yoshime you see right now there is a lot of stuff uh, which are going on and as you know it information is the first casualty of war you see so we have to be carefully when we report on this thing man you see so this news it say Russia S300 S300 take aim at Israeli jet during Syria raid putting message to Bennett over Ukraine as you know it man the small hatter have been supporting Ukraine as she as through counter intelligence and uh, they want to go as far to provide the, uh, some kind of defense i don't know if it will be the iron dome or whatever man but there is something uh, which is going on be- between the small hatter and uh, the ukrainian government and then going back to history man you uh, see not in the not really in the 1948 in which the state of israel was uh, came the state of Israel came into existence through the buffer de- declaration let us go as far as the AC and the 9th century uh, during the Khazarian Empire as you know it is the Khazarian Empire was located over there in Ukraine the Baltic state in the southern Russia and the Georgia also that was the Khazarian Empire it was ruled by who you by who you, you call the Turkic you see the Turkic people the Turkic people were predominantly Amalekite men. You see, those were Amalekite. And uh, you had the two <laughs> Turkic Empire. You have the, the Eastern Turkic Empire and the Western Turkic Empire. Over there in Kiev, Kiev Georgia, and Southern Russia, that was the Western Turkic Empire. On the Balt- Baltic state, that was the Eastern Turkic Empire, if I'm not mistaken. So all of there you had you had Amalek over there. You see some of them got converted to Islam. You see they went on to invade you see a Constantinople. And the fall of Constantinople came by what you call the Caliphate or the state of of, of Islam in which predominantly it was the Turkic people, that was the Amalek. And they conquered the Byzantine Empire and they they they, they ruled the you see Constantinople and which they changed it to Istanbul. Just as that's the beginning of the fall of uh, the, the Eastern uh, Roman Empire. But you had you see some of the Turkic people who converted it to to, 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 to Judaism. You see, and they, they they migrated it to French and and, and Spain, Portugal and, and Germany also. You see? But you had the Turkic people who remained in Kiev, uh, who you call the Kievian, they are known as the Kievian. See, some of them they remained over there in Russia. That's why you have a lot of you have a lot even until now you have a lot of Amalekite in Russia too. See, you have a lot lot of Amalekite in Ukraine. Actually, the, the predominant race over there is the Amalek, who is Isawidom, the nation of Isawidom still, but we are talking about the Amalek here. In Russia, especially southern part of Russia, you have a lot of Amalekite. This Amalekite, they remain, they remain neutral, because you have some Amalekite who choose to be pagan, some Amalekite who choose to be Christian, some Amalekite who choose to, be, uh, to follow Judaism, uh, some Amalekite who choose to be pagan, and they remain over there in Kiev. You see? So my point here is there is a connection, a deep, a kinship connection between the small heart and, and the people in, in, in Ukraine. So they are both Amalekite. The people in Ukraine, a lot of them are Amalekite. The people in Turkey, a lot of them are Amalekite. The small heart over there in the state of Israel is Amalekite too. 
you have a lot of people also in Germany who are Amalekite. So when the scripture tells you the list of the flock, it is that was not uh, predominantly talking about the state of Israel, even though it means that. It simply means Amalek. And really this goes into the elite of the nation of, of, of Edom, or Isha Edom, who are Amalekite. You see? So you see here it is Amalek against Amalek. I'm not saying the Russian, all of them are Amalekite. No. A small percentage of them too are Amalekite, man. You see? There is a lot of Amalekite over there too. I was talking about Ukraine. You see, the list of the flock script it can apply to Ukraine, yes? It can apply to Turkey. It can apply to the state of Israel. It can apply to the elite who are also Amalekite. You see, so there is a development in, in the Val of Yehash apartment as far as the algorithm of all your she is concerned. So let me go to the book of Revelation 20, you see. And verse 7 is it read, and when the thousand year has expired, Satan shall be loosened out of, of his prison and shall go out to deceive the nations which are in the four quarters of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together to battle, the number of whom is as the sand of the sea. And they went up on the bridge of the earth and compassed the camp of the saint about, and the, and the saint of the camp that was going to the, to, to the land of Israel, man, the camp of the saint. In order for you to have a camp, you need a land. It said that the beloved city, fire came down from the most high out of heaven and divides them. You see? So that was going to go again, Mago. So the war of Gog and Mago, you see, it will be predominantly fought over there in the valley of Yahashapat. You see? And the Gog and Mago, uh, which is that was going to Russia. You see, and his company, you see, will embark on a journey, you see, to conquer, you see, the Middle East, especially the land of Israel, you see, and the scripture tells you there is nothing new under the heaven, you see, the same rulers who tried to take Jerusalem back then, back in the fresh, talking about Alexander the Great, talking about Napoleon, Talking about all the rulers, man. You see, going all the way to the 12 Caesars. They are all back here in the fresh. It can be put in your whoever, man, will be ruling Russia. You see, the same people, they are coming to do the same exact things they were created to do. You see, so that is Gog and Magog for you. you see, let me get another scripture. Uh, which goes into the book of Joel She. Joel She and two say, I will also gather all nations, and they will bring them down to the valley of Yahashapat, and they will produce them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and a part of my land. It is clear. Let me see the list of the flock. You see, as I was uh, 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 speaking, man, the list of the flock that was going to Amalek. And the Amalek is not predominantly necessarily over there in the state of Israel. Over there in Ukraine, those do they are Amalek, man. They go back to the to the Kazarian Empire. You see? Have a lot of Amalek in, in, in Russia too. Have a lot of Amalek in Europe. This year can be talking about the elite. You know the elite they have a plan what you call a, a perpetual a, or you call perpetual depopulation, man. You see you, you keep the, the, the population of the AC in a balance with nature, in a perpetual hot. You see, they call it a perpetual whatever, man, but that's what's going to uh, uh, the population agenda. In their, the population agenda, man, they have all you see over there. And which is the fastest way to reduce the population of people through war. You need that war. The pandemic ain't enough. Because the pandemic, it reached a point where people develop what you call hard immunity. And not even like now, you are not seeing people, they are dying like they used to in 2020. Because a lot of people have developed an immunity against that shit, man. 
a lot of people get sick even to my, the two of my friends got sick they are good right now a lot of people in the internet they are sick they are good right now so they need to bring that war so through all the elite the elite will fund this war man the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahshua will be in them they will fund you this war as they used they funded what you want what you two and this year so they will fund it man that's the amal for you she in any major prophecy here on the planet yes amalek is there man so that is the list of the frog it can be key it can be kiev ukraine see it can be the state of israel or the elite so this is jeremiah 15 45 says therefore here is a council of the lord it can be taken don't forget that therefore here is a council of the lord habash mashal that he has taken against babylon and his purpose that he has purposed against the land of the chaldean Surely the list of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make the habitation desolate with them. So let us look for other news. You see, or you see news. You see, I'll be reading, say, why Vladimir Putin meddling may be the reason behind him. The military, Russian military disaster, which is the, the Western media. Propaganda, they are saying that the Russians are incompetent. But, amen, <laughs> even in Abba Hashem Yashai himself, he praised the mid, man. You see, Abba Hashem Yashai himself, he has made the mid to be a formidable force. That's why there will be the end of the beast. Remember, the Bible tells you who can make you all with the beast. It simply means anybody who can make you all with the beast must be strong. You see, the, um, the ultimate opponent of the beast is Yahawashai. But here on yes, he has also ground troop. One among Yahawashai ground troop is Gog and Magog. When Yahawashai will be on, will, will come on the scene, Gog and Magog will be doing the job on the ground and the elect. Right now the elect we are, we are making a war with the beast on the, on the behest of, of, of Yahawashai. And his father Yahawa. I will see. So, I mean, there is a reason why the Bible prays Gog and Magog, man. You just wait and see. This, this, this Western people think that Russia, the, the Russian army is bizarre, they know anything, they know how the hell is going on on the planet. Yes, they will be slapped with, with, with an iron fist, man. You see, it says Ukraine said as of ta to Putin, uh, you know, if you have been following this news, you know what the Azov star. A plant mean. You see, Putin in Navy hold anti sub warfare drill. You see, Moscow missile hit, I think it's your death. You see, why US failed in Iraq, Afghanistan, and Vietnam, but managed to help Ukraine, in which they are not helping. You see, Sweden want to join NATO, but won't host it is new. You see, that's Sweden for you. So that's what it is, man. And, and, and here, another proof that the Russian ESO is idomite. On that, that plant known as the Azovstar steel, is a lane fire. A lane of fire for as well as bombs, man. If, we, if we, I haven't watched that video, but I hear the people talking about it, it was laning fire, man. That is ESO hidden blessing, man. You see? <laughs> that is Isa with impression. Let me grab a scripture really quick. You see. So this is a book of Revelation 6 and 4. He said, And there went another horse that was led, and the power was given to him that sat there to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him when he showed. <laughs> that is Isa for you. The red horse symbolizing Isa, man. He was given that in you see, mandate, you see, to be the, 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 the soil of peace through wars. You see, that's why he went on the New World. And the scholar, we are, we are saying that that was Isa when he went to the New World and started killing God and whatever, man. That really was going to the Lady Horse. You see, the White Horse was talking about Yahawashite. It was not talking about Isa going over there in the New World. You see, Isa going over there in the New World. 
You see, Revelation 6 and 4 can apply, I mean. And there are went out another horse that was laid in the powers given to him that sat there and to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill you and another. And there was given unto him a good sword. How was he so able to take peace from the earth? He went over there, he fell into the Native Americans, they are living in peace, man. Prosperous. You see? Some of them were keeping the law, such and commandment. What did he do? He took peace from them, man. Through the sword. See, that was going specifically into Isa Widom nature. See, so that's why we say the Revelation 6 and 2 are not talking about Isa, man. So, amen. We should say shalom. I hope we will divide on to the next.